For the Eurobricks Technic competition, I created a smaller version of the barcode truck with a cable flex system and a barcode reader. This was a novelty in 1997. We can build a Lego Technic truck instead, which you can program to run on its own. What's happening now? Stop that truck! That was the commercial from 1997. And here you see the barcode reader in action. Thank you Tobias from Rubricroll for making this video material available to me. A uh, link is in the video description to his Rubricable review about the barcode truck. Here you can see that the code reader is put in place. And after starting the barcode reader and some fiddling around, the model starts executing the functions that were read through the barcode. This is mainly a tire lift arm and a tire dumper. But since electronics are forbidden in the Eurobricks contest, I've come up with a gear rack system on the road to control all elements. So I call this the gear pilot system instead of the code pilot system. As you can see the original is not perfect in all of its functions. But a lot of fun to play with. The Schrink model is 40% smaller, so 60% of its original size. For comparison, I put all 52 original barcode truck building steps in studio next to the shrink model. This makes it easier to compare both. The shrink model does not use electronics, but uses gear racks on the road to control and activate all elements. Here is the actually built road with the gear racks that will control the tire lift arm and the tire dumper. Let's see it in action. The road for the tire pickup can be used in both directions. The road is turned around 180 degrees here. The gear pilot system in action. Also for the tire dumper. Here are the three gears that control the functions. One for arm up, one for arm down, and one for the tipper. The Schrink model does not have the cable flex system, but uses strings through hoses to control the tire lifter. As said, electronics are forbidden in the competition, so the model has a dummy code pilot box. The original 8497 decals were used on the model. Even the decals for the functions were applied on the road. There are free building instructions available on the Rebrickable. And again, as it's quite fun to play with, now a bit closer to the camera. Picking up the tire correctly requires skills and some precision, as you can see. Lining it up can be difficult, it's just a matter of keeping it in between the white lines. 
The hand of God steering works well. The model has a small turning radius. I almost forgot the model also has a functional steering wheel. Thank you for watching.